Oh, what's up guys, we're back. It's been a minute since we've done a car unboxing. Um, but I got a box and I'm in a car. So let's open it. I, uh, so this is a CBCS submission. If you've been following along, you know I hate it. I can't stand them. When I first got into comics, uh, like Major, I sent stuff into them first. Um, because I, I guess I was a little like afraid. Uh, you know, with them you didn't have to have a membership. They were a little cheaper. And at the time, I was told CGC took forever. Now, none of that's true anymore. CGC is on point. Uh, but the one thing they do do at CBCS, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's good for them, but it's unfortunate for me because that would be the reason I would have to send another book there. Uh, is they do certification. Like, if you have a autograph book or something like that CGC has to witness it or it's just they won't grade it you know what I'm saying like they won't grade it as uh, a verified signature COA any of that don't matter CBCS has like a uh, off, authentic, authentication is the word I'm looking for authentication um, this is true I was going to throw that out some of them clearly yell at me, so I'll put that in the trash can. Got a bunch of paper, we're going to use that. Do we need this light? Uh, we're at a uh, loader vehicle right now as well, if you don't, if you pay attention. Uh, because... I don't my transmission. It's going to cost me some money. Uh, now, I've already... And you get the terrible shipping, the freaking burrito. I have looked at, you know, they email you and you still finally ships. Obviously, these books have been gone for like over a year now, just about. Um, but they email you and your stuff finally starts processing. So, I'm not one to not peek, so I look. I don't remember what the grades were right now, but I do remember that I was upset. I'll tell you that much. You know what I mean? That's what I can tell you. They weren't good. I was not happy. Uh, especially with, uh, with at least one. I don't even remember what's in here, to be honest. I believe there's five books, because that's what I used to send in all the time, because, like I said, I was afraid. I sent in, like, five or six submissions, and thinking, you know, they'd start coming back. You know, lo and behold, a year later, I'm finally getting them back, but, uh, and I, I can't stand the company anymore. I know CGC is way more reputable and quicker. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Sorry, I'm uh, taking all the tape off of this burrito. But I used to get the, they would have, Comic Tom had the coupons. Where you get, uh, you know, grade four, get the fifth one free. You didn't have to have a membership or any of that. So I was sending in five at a time. Paying for four, getting that fifth one free. Seemed like a deal to me. Everything I sent in was modern. So, you know what I mean? In my eyes at the time, I was like, well, well it doesn't matter. CBCS, CGC, it's a modern book. A 9.8's a 9.8. I'm sending in all brand new high grade books. Uh, and all the stuff I sent in the CGC, 90% of it is what I think it is. 9.8's, you know, you might get a couple 9.6's. There's been a couple curveballs in there, but. For the majority, especially the modern stuff, some of the little older stuff I've been a little iffy about. I'm not big on the grading the older things in my head, but the modern stuff, I'm like, it's brand new. It's never been touched. It's a 9.8. CBCS is like, no, nah, man. I don't care if anybody ever touched it. We touched it, and now it ain't a 9.8. Um, so let's see what we got here. I don't even want to, I don't, man. All right. I don't want to look at them, but. I gotta get this in the invoices in this one, so we're gonna pull that invoice out because we need that when they start trying to tax us on comics. Uh, first up, we got the Twisted Haunted Highons Curse of the Green Book number one, the Kirkham variant. Is that better with? I don't know. Brand new book, never touched. That's a 9 6. No clue. You guys know I got most of the Haunted Highons. Uh, Grade it. That's just, you know what I mean? That's 
those are my PC books. We have our own variant. I think there's like, I think we have like three copies left of that, by the way. Uh, and I got a couple of graded ones. Uh, I got another 9 6 Curse of the Green Book, number one. All right, this, yeah. Yeah, so these are just the standard covers. I had all the variants, so we got all this, we got the standard covers, you know what I mean? But 9 6, bull crap. This one really made me mad. This book, I bought this brand new. It was limited. Uh, I have the COA at home. I've kept it. It's been sitting in my house for like a year or more. Uh, brand new book. Purchased it through, you know, I can't remember who. Uh, I guess you purchased it. You purchased, I purchased it directly through Patrick Gleason. Carnage. Black, White, and Blood, number one, the variant Gleason cover from Patrick Gleason himself, who did the cover and signed the book. So it is signed, brand new, straight from the people who made it. Got a 9-2, a 9-2, brand new book, guys. This book came out May of 2021. I probably purchased it in May of 2021. Uh, this also is the first appearance of Lucius Morris and Seth Strahd as Carnage, Shriek, Avengers, Cloak and Dagger appearance, Doppelganger, Demigoblin, and Carrion cameo. So lots of stuff going on in this book with the awesome Gleason cover, signed by Patrick Gleason, verified, but a damn 9 2. This should have been a fucking 9 8 all day. There are graders' notes. Clearly, I don't have them in front of me. I don't believe they don't put that on the. Uh, on the invoice, right? No, you gotta look it up on time. At least they got the verification, right? You know, what I mean, you pay extra for that. So at least they got that. I bought it straight from him with the COA. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That. I think I still want to keep it because it's dope, but it's like it's just kind of crap, man. All these CBCS cases now, I just hate them. I don't even like to look at them. They're ugly to me. This one, I'm not so mad about. Um, I bought this secondhand at one of my local comic shops. Already signed. I had no clue it was real or not. They didn't either. Um, but CGC ver or CBCS verified it with Batman Eternal number three. This one's a 9-6. Signed by James Tynan himself. My favorite writer of the modern age, definitely. He's the one who does Nice House on the Lake and all that. Something that's killing the children. So 9-6, I'm not too mad about. It was touched. They took it out. They signed it. You know what I mean? Nine six. I can deal with. There's nothing special about this book except for he wrote it and he signed it and it's Batman. Um, honestly, it's kind of a not even a cool cover. I mean, it got, it's got the Batmobile. There's no Batman or nothing like that, but still super cool. And then another one. I guess I'm less mad now that I'm looking at it. That nine two really pissed me off. So I was just mad at all. And. And the fucking Haunted high -ons. The Haunted high -ons should be 9.8s, not 9.6s. 100%. And the Gleason should at least be a 9.6. I can deal with 9.6 because they're signed. They were handled. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with that. Uh, this one is a, another Bat. This is Batman Eternal number two. So the last one was number three. This is number two from the same place. Uh, this one got a 9.4. And it is also signed by James Tynan. Way cooler. Still no Batman on the cover, but at least you have the Batman outline and he signed it in the shadow. So that's a so dope looking. And if you're a James Tynan fan, then you know what I mean? That's dope. Written by uh, James Tynan and uh, Scott Schneider. So super cool. It sucks that it's a 9-4, but it's, it's whatever. The price I paid for this... Um... Minus the grading, obviously, and having to send it in. Obviously, that costs money. And it's like, I think it's like $43 to get uh, for the grading plus the uh, verification. And then shipping is like another, you know, I mean, you end up paying like 50, almost, oh, probably almost 60 bucks to get it verified. So that's outrageous. Is this book worth that? I don't know. Um, but it was something cool for me. It was the first signed book I had ever, you know, sent in myself. All three of these. So. It was my first trial on that. It's unfortunate because I do have other books that are signed that I would like to send in and get verified. 
and CGC doesn't do that. And you can't, like, you know what I mean? It's not like I can go to the person and be like, tell them, tell them it was you. So that sucks. I wish CGC would, like, we get, you know, verification, but I'll probably hold off. I'll probably not. I, I mean, I got a couple twisted books that are signed. That'd be cool to get graded. Um, you know, like some variants, like a couple things signed by like Twisted and Dirk and Mariana, which would be outrageous. I, I thought I'd get one graded before. The price is absurd. You pay for each autograph. So like 40, 40, 40, 40. You're paying fucking almost $200 if you got, you know, six signatures or something. So I'll probably never do that unless I like come into a lot of money someday because I don't have any money right now. But I guess I'm not nearly as mad. Nine four. I don't necessarily plan on reset. Like I'm, I'm no, I'm not really into the Batman books. I'm just a James Tynan fan. Uh, these are the first ones. I do have a sign. Something's killing the children now. Um, I'd like to get a nice house one sign. That would be a, a pretty cool one to get. But I'd like to meet him. I'd like to go meet him. I'm part of the, the club and all that. So. But I guess, okay, so I guess I'm not that mad. The 9.6 is on the fucking brand new Haunted High on Socks, and that Patrick Gleason should have been at least a 9.6. But it is what it is. I guess I'm not that mad. I just, I'm just bitter. But there they are. Let me know what you guys think. You guys ever get anything graded? What's your thoughts on CGC, CBCS, all that good stuff? I want to know what your guys' heads are. I don't know what you're thinking. Um... But either way, I still got, there's still more to come, man. I still got all my uh, economy shipments at CGC, which is like books before 77. The only one that's come back is that Silver Surface, because we paid extra for that one, which is also kind of a disappointment, but still the most expensive book I have. Go watch that one. Um, and we're going to send some CGC ones off soon, because I got a uh, $200 credit. So I'm going to get a submission together, and those come back in two weeks, so. Once I get that together, you'll see a video in two weeks. And there's still, I think, two or three more CBCS submissions I'm still waiting for. Was there another? I might have sent another uh, signature one. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But either way, let me know what you think. The collection is growing. Things are growing. Some of these might be for sale. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? Follow us on Whatnot. The link is down below. Uh, I give away slabs on there all the time if you buy mystery bags and stuff like that. So you never know. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Woo!